All right, so in this video, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to change the location of the Safari address bar in iOS 15. Um, this video is primarily for those that don't already know how to do this and are probably looking for a solution on how to change it. Um, but yeah, so basically what Apple did in iOS 15 uh, with new version of Safari, uh, they changed the location of the address bar by default and the default now is at the bottom rather than the top uh, so to change that you're going to want to jump over here into settings scroll all the way down here until we find uh, safari right here open that and then from within safari you're going to see a bunch of options here but what you're going to do is scroll down until you see this section here called tabs and it's pretty self-explanatory actually so you, they actually apple actually gives you a couple little graphics to essentially show you what is going to happen once you change the setting uh so you have tab bar right here uh, which is currently the new default and that is the one that puts the address bar at the bottom of the safari window and then single tab puts this address bar at the top of the window uh, which is what it was previously before the iOS 15 update. So if we go into Safari real quick and we can see what that looks like. So with the tab bar option selected, you can see at the bottom of the screen here, the address bar is right above the uh, action buttons there. And then you can add it or change it and do what you normally would with the address bar. What I do actually find interesting though with this is that with the bottom address bar, you actually can switch between web pages and new tabs just by swiping. So, so you, I can swipe over, it goes to a new tab. I can swipe back, I go back to this tab. So you can actually swipe back and forth super easily. So that's one benefit of actually having the uh, tab address bar at the bottom. But again, some people may not like that. So if we go back, go to single tab here and go back to Safari, you can see immediately it jumps the address bar back to the top of the screen, uh, just like it used to in previous versions of iOS. And then again, you can manipulate it however you would like to type in a website right from there. So anyway, that is how you change the location of the address bar in Safari on iOS. So, Hope this helped you guys out, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.